Hi everybody, this is Eat Sleep here from the Techies, and it's pretty cold today. But anyways, I'm going to be going over uh, keyframing in Sony Vegas. So, first I have this nice headshot I got here. Oh, so what keyframing is, is keyframing is pretty much what you're going to do is you're controlling how the video effects go on the video, you know. You can control how how long you want them to go for, the frequency, and pretty much everything else you need to control is through keyframing. So today I'm going to just uh, apply some basic effects and show you some keyframing. I'll start with a clip here, and I'm going to go, you can use whatever you want, I'm going to use brightness, do some brightness. So just drag, drag the brightness reset to none to your video clip and you should get this video event effects that pop up. Now I, I sync my uh, cursor with my clip so if I move this it shows up on the video preview there. Pretty helpful to do. And you add keyframes by either changing these effects here. See it just added a keyframe right there. Or you can hit this little cross and it'll insert a keyframe right there. And you take them off by either right clicking and hitting delete or hitting this little subtract button. So I'm going to put a kind of flash when I get this headshot right there, right there. Move our left key a little over to get the right, right there. And I want to put the brightness up all the way. So I just added a keyframe, and that keyframe is really bright. I made it really bright. But when we preview this, as you notice, it, it increasingly gets brighter up into that point, and it stays that bright. So you can fix this in... Well, this is how pretty much everyone does it. You can do one or two keyframes before it. You can add a keyframe and set it all down to zero again, and you can watch it. There was a, there was a, it went straight from nothing to really bright. And if you don't want it to stay this bright the entire rest of the video, that would be awful, awful. You can go one or two after and set another keyframe right like that. Yay. And we can preview this. And, ooh, you see that? Went kind of quick. It was a quick flash, right there, flash. There. And you can do this with all these effects, uh, bump map, whatever you want. Just make sure you do it correctly, because if you don't, and it'll turn out looking bad. So now I'm going to show you a different type of keyframing. Well, it's the same thing, it's just using a different effect for it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that effect off this clip. I'm going to go over motion motion uh, keyframing. So at the end of your clip, there's this little uh, event pan crop button. If your clip is really small like mine, you can zoom in with the cursor and you'll get this button. So just click on the button. And I'll make another tutorial going over this, but for today, I'm just going to show you adding keyframes here. I'm going to do it right when I get the headshot. I want it to to uh, just, just say flip 180. So I'm going to add a keyframe here and flip it 180, like like so. But I'm going to go one, uh, well, click on that. I'm going to go one in front and restore. You can right click and you hit restore and it goes back. So I did that because I didn't want it to start increasingly spinning. I just wanted to go from right there to flip upside down, like like that, like so. And I'm also going to go one after and restore it to its regular again. So when we play this back, it flips upside down really quickly, really quick. So I'm going to change that so it's easier to see. I'm just going to move this keyframe down and move this keyframe down. And now you'll be able to see the effect that I did. 
it, it gave it a little spin. You can modify keyframes. It's just, you know, you can, uh, hold on. When you modify keyframes, you can either move these along here or you can, like, uh, delete them and redo it. But uh, keyframing is really important. And if you learn one thing in Vegas, you're going to want to learn to keyframe. All these effects here wouldn't matter at all if you just put them on. Like, I'll give an example. Uh, let me delete these keyframes here. If you just if you just put one of these on, uh, just add a brightness. Put brighter. Hit X. I mean, it doesn't... I mean, the effect adds, but, I mean, you don't really control it. So, it's really helpful to have keyframing. And, uh... This is the Eat Sleep from the Techies, and thank you.